and this video is brought to you by Wig Splitter Plus. This product contains 2-propanol, which is the same ingredient as mentioned in the White House press briefing to kill the coronavirus. Use it on doorknobs, counters, elevator buttons, railings, seats, shoes, mail, packages, tray tables, TSA trays, gaming machines, suitcases, ticket dispensers, public transit, rental cars, at the airports, at the hotels, at restaurants, at bars, at grocery stores, casinos, taxis, etc., etc. 266 sprays per bottle, 2.7 ounces. Hey, we're trying to do our part to provide a great product, pick you guys some up, and Wix Splitter Plus, I keep you guys right. What's up, everybody? Big Hurt, getting down fresh out. You tune into another edition of Prison Talk. I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for supporting. You know, we try to keep our channel as real and raw as possible. And uh, we've actually gotten to a point where we're just going to give you guys the content as it is. We're not going to try to uh, baby it down, water it down because of the censoring we've been having to uh, deal with. But uh, we want to ask you guys, do you think this is normal? Is it normal for you to have to deal with a situation where you can't provide for your family to where you don't have the means to earn an income and yet you have a system that wants you to be complacent with a welfare check, complacent with a handout. I don't think this is normal. I mean, here at Fresh Out, we understand that certain circumstances require certain actions, but when you guys really look at the big picture and you think about what's really going on around us, how, how much is enough or what do you consider enough is enough? Personally, we don't want to be reduced to being so low to where we can't stand up. We don't want to have to stand in lines at food banks. We don't want to be dependent on a governmental entity for our, our well-being. We want to earn our keep here. And I know a lot of people are emotionally moved by fear and I know that a lot of people when fear comes into play they don't think about anything else but just ask yourself the question if you would have seen the same numbers from last year in regards to some of the deaths and illnesses would you guys have actually wanted to self-quarantine or put yourself in the same predicament you're in now. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the exact numbers, but I know it's uh, well, in, well over a million. But yeah, well over a million people have died of hunger between April and January of this year. But nobody talks about that because everybody, it's assumed, has food. There are a lot of families that don't have the luxury of sitting in their three, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand square foot mansions with home gyms, with uh, you know nannies and all these different resources, pool to self quarantine. A lot of people have to go to work. Their kids, they need them to get an education, and some families don't even have it to where. They can feed their kids at home, so school actually serves as a secondary purpose for their kids to get meals. I feel for those families out there, the families who have two, two household incomes, you know, those who have to, you know, actually get up in the morning and provide and, you know, find a way so that they can pay their bills. 
They're not in a position where they can sit around and, and not think about what they're going to eat next week or how they're going to pay their mortgage in the next month or so. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, hey, there is a, a moratorium. Well, when all said and done, how are they going to come up with all the back payments? Who's going to donate the money for them to take care of whatever they have to take care of at the time everything comes to a head? I just don't get it, man. And I, I, I thought that, you know, at some point people would wake up, but a lot of people, I guess, don't want to really think about it. And they want to just be able to go and, and, you know, do their TikTok videos and go back to dancing and twerking. And, you know, they try to pacify us with all these fake, fake uh, entertainment concerts and shows. But that's not feeding, that's not making your stomach full. That's not going to keep the roof over your head. You know, when, when, the, when, the, when the electricity bill comes, you got to pay that bill. Or when you start talking about now your savings is down to its last couple, you know, $100 or $1,000, what's going to be said for that? And a lot of these jobs that have been reduced to nothing, if you opened up tomorrow, they're not coming back. It took years to build those positions. And like I said, I'm not saying that there is not something out there, but does it call for these extremities? All these people who are telling you what to do or, or talking on TV, you see them openly showing their mouth, running their mouth, they got refrigerators full of food, they got resources, they're getting paid. All those politicians are getting a paycheck. They're not going without pay and they're multi-millionaires. Some of them are billionaires, but yet they got the people and they're, you know, you guys are down basically on a, on a, a serfdom type level. And a lot of people are perfectly happy with that. Well, I just think that you guys need to ask yourself the question, at what point do you feel that you are ready to somehow get back to some type of normalcy? For those who are compromised immune systems or have certain health issues, stay home, cover up, you know, let other people help, help you, shop for you. But for those who are young and healthy, who need to provide and, and, and want to work, what about them? I don't care about a stimulus check. Who cares about, you know, getting a little thousand dollars here and there? The, the majority of the people aren't getting any real money benefits from this anyways. You got the airlines getting bailed out. Roof Chris, 30 something million. Harvard, uh, 8 million. They got an endowment of 42 billion. You have all these big corporations getting paid. It's right back to the 1%. You guys are 99%. And yet they are able to keep you complacent with a with not even a kibble not even kibble it'd be different if they gave everybody a hundred and some thousand and you can invest that money and build you a a, a new foundation create some wealth but twelve hundred dollars six hundred dollars a week unemployment you got to be kidding me man i would rather go back and earn my keep i want to be able to maximize my labor per uh wage earning I don't want to be a, a handout recipient. I don't want to be reduced to a welfare patient. I don't want to be, you know, be uh, in a position where it gets so bad that now I got to figure if I, gotta, if, if I have enough gas to make it from here to the grocery store and then have to stand in line for two hours for uh, a dozen eggs. Ask yourself what you guys are going to um, lay down for and what you're going to stand up for. A lot of people don't want to talk. None of the celebrities have said anything that's even relatable to the average working person. These guys are all telling you the same bullshit. None of the hip hop rappers, none of the regular country westerns, nobody has said anything. Quiet as church mouses. You don't even hear the church is saying anything about helping or doing anything, have you? Multi-million dollar, billion dollar institutions, where's the handouts at? I'm just keeping it real and I'm speaking from the heart and I'm just trying to get you guys talking to try to really look at the big picture and you and I both see it every day. They're, they're backtracking and, and retracting what they said to 
the month before or the week before and 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 trying to keep up with what the public is actually uh, uh, demanding to some degree so you guys don't just totally throw in a towel. But wake up, man. What is normal? Is this normal? Is this how you want to continue? You got, like I said, billionaires, oh, it's not going to go back to normal till 2021 and you guys got to do this. See, they have done the numbers already. They know what the breaking point is. We're at over 20 something million unemployed. They know what number is going to send us to a point of no return. Then you have to deal with lines everywhere. Hey, man, I really pray for this country. I pray for the people, man. I, I, I pray that, you know, you guys wake up, that you young people will somehow get a conscious awakening because uh, this, is, this is some scary stuff, man. It, it, it's, it's very scary to think that they've actually got us in a position and basically through consent because the usage of words and what they're con calling this is a consensual type situation. Look up Black's Law Dic Dictionary, self-quarantine, uh, um, self-isolation, what they're saying. It, it's not, they're not saying you're locked down. They're saying it's a self-quarantine. That means by you're voluntarily doing what you're doing. I'm just saying wake up, man. I, I really feel for the people, man, and for those who are able to still work who have jobs. Maybe they don't think about it because they go to work every day, but a lot of people are suffering. A lot of kids are being, uh, being really hurt by this. And, um, you know, this country as a whole, man, I, I, I just, I, I, I just really pray, man, for what's going to, you know, what's going to be next. I mean, a lot of people would be happy just to be able to go back and watch football and basketball, but that's not going to help us. Those guys are multimillionaires. You know, the team owners are billionaires. I'm talking about the working class. I'm talking about the people who need to go and take care of their families. You guys are the voice. You guys need to, uh, you know, consciously think about your, your situation and decide at what point you're going to say, this is not normal. Big Hurt getting down fresh out, man.